Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome, and if you're not new here, welcome back. But for today's video, I'm doing a very requested video that you guys really seem to love. It's kind of like an annual video for me. Um, I filmed it last year, and I might have filmed it the year before. I don't really know what I did back then, but I know I did film it last year, and you guys love the video. So I'm bringing this back to you guys. I'm going to be doing a pack with me vlog for Cape Cod. Not really like a vlog, just like a let's like pack with me video for Cape Cod, my annual 4th of July trip that I always go on. Um, I usually go to the Cape a lot on the weekends, but recently like this is just like the big week that I usually go because it's like 4th of July obviously. So this is like the big week that we just take off and we go and we have a great time. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I'm packing for this trip. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you come back next time for more videos. Like on my phone, I have a list in my notes app of like kind of just like an extremely like brief not into detail list of what I need at all because I literally think I made it like five minutes ago I couldn't even tell you but basically I have this extremely brief list and I've gotten off some things on the list um some things that I want to wear are actually in the wash so I'm doing laundry currently right now too so I'm like half packed and also I leave tomorrow night so I can't like pack the stuff that I'm going to need to get ready in the morning now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two parts of this video. So like right now is what you guys are going to see from what I have right now. And then like when you guys see me next, it'll probably be tomorrow morning, like before I have to go to work because I'm leaving right after work and I get out at around like 4.30. So. so right now I'm just going to show you guys what I have behind me. Um, You can kind of see a little bit of it on the floor over there, but it's definitely a lot more than that. The only things that I'm missing on my list so far, which I honestly might be like missing stuff that I even wrote down like I'll continuously pack as I go and remember like oh like I really need that I need one more pair of shorts and the one that I want to wear is in the wash um I need all my skincare all my makeup all my hair care everything but I'll put that in one little category in one dot because I'll remember that and that's something I can't bring until after tomorrow morning I need more socks because I only have one pair clean I need um like I have like a fun activities thing because I'm one of the beach all day for one of them and I'm not usually like a beach person who does that so I'm going to the beach and um basically I want to bring like my book I want to make sure I have my homework because I will be sitting on the beach and doing homework like I don't care what anyone says I will be on the beach doing homework so so let's just get into what's behind me and giving you guys like a little what I packed so far the first thing we're going to start with today is what I brought for shirts. The shirt I have is this Hollister shirt. It's a part of their must-have collection. And it's just this like blue, blue little like tank top and I think it's really cute. I have this tank top in a bunch of different colors because it's like a really nice basic and it's so soft and comfy. The next thing I have is this big billabong oversized t-shirt. It's like a size small, but it's literally so big and it's so cute. Um, I brought this as like an extra shirt because I don't really have an outfit plan with this shirt, but it's like what I'm going to wear to the beach, I think, over like my bathing suit on the 4th of July. The next thing I have is this top I literally think I got like four years ago because I still have it and it's still really cute, but it's this Abercrombie & Fitch. It's a size small. I don't think they even sell this anymore. I couldn't tell you. Like, don't even try looking for it because it was so long ago. But it's this little top with lemons on it, and it buttons up, and it's, like, cute. It's been, like, a basic. Like, I think it's really cute. I used to wear it, like, all the time in, like, 8th grade summer, and I'm about to be a junior in high school. So, that's... It's been a while if you haven't put that together. The next thing I brought is this size medium Hollister, Hollister collection. Just like I was saying, the same tank top that you guys saw in blue, but in white. And then I brought this Lululemon Swift tag. I don't even know what it's called, like whatever you guys call it. But this Lululemon short sleeve shirt in gray. Um, I have it in like, I want to say this is a size 4, but I brought this shirt. Next thing I got, this is an extra small. It's from this brand, Patrons of Peace. But it's this really cute shirt. It's really wrinkly for some reason because I put it through the wash and then I air dried it. So it's really wrinkly. But I'm not going to, I don't really care. I'm not going to iron it. But it's this really cute shirt. Um, it has this wicked nice pattern and it's really pretty. But I'm going to wear this with like jean shorts or something. So this is like one of my nicer tops, definitely. Okay, that is everything that I have for shirts. Um, I brought six shirts in total, so that should definitely be enough. And I'm only going for five days, so having one extra is always good. But definitely enough, so I'm not going to bring any more shirts. Next category I'm going to do is I'm going to do shorts. Um, I'm missing one pair of shorts because I'm they're in the wash, like the ones that I want to bring. So you guys will see the next shorts that I'm bringing in the next part of this video, like on the part two when you guys see me like tomorrow morning. So for now, we're just going to go over the shorts that I have ready now. I'm bringing my red Lululemon shorts. Um, these are the four-inch ones, and they're low-waisted. 
I love them. I don't care what anyone tells you guys. The 4 inch ones are not too long. They are the perfect length. The 2.5 go up my butt. And I have like two pairs of 2.5. So the 4 inch are my girls. I love the 4 inch. I'm converting. I don't know what size these are. But these are black jean shorts from Paxson. I think I got last summer. So I haven't worn them at all this summer. I like like jean shorts. But I'm really not like a big jean shorts fan to be honest. Like they just don't fit in the right places. And they make me really uncomfortable. So I got these shorts that I'm going to bring. And I'm bringing jean shorts for the rest of the trip too. So I don't know why I was complaining. A 27 for reference is a size 4. But these are them. And they're really cute. They're kind of folded weird right now. And they look weird because I don't like machine wash any of my shorts. So they all air dry. So yeah. The final pair of shorts that we have ready is also a size 4. The Abercrombie & Fitch, the 4 inch mom short high rise. So they're a bit longer. Um, I really like these. They give me like a vintage look. And they're honestly really cute. And I don't think the 4 inch is too excessive. So I do really recommend these as anyone is looking for like a cute longer pair of like vintage shorts that aren't like excessively long and they reach your like knees but these are really cute those are only four pairs of shorts um obviously i need another pair i'm probably gonna end up bringing two more because i'm gonna wear one tomorrow down there and i'm gonna pack another but the two that i want to bring are my lululemon ones that are literally like in the wash because i don't own any shorts like at all like literally at all so i'm gonna um order some this week actually while i'm in the cape and i'm also gonna go shopping at the mall the next category we're going to do is sweatshirts and I'm also going to show you guys the one pair of sweatpants I'm bringing in case it's cold like when we go on our boat but I'm not going to make that like its own category because it's literally only one pair but I did bring my gray Brandy Melville sweatpants because I love these things they are my holy grail and I will continue to buy a new pair every single year like it cannot get better than this. I have two sweatshirts for this trip because usually that's just like the default amount that I bring but they're kind of like not like sweatshirts, they're crew necks. But I brought my green airy crew neck. I think I wear this everywhere and I got it this year and I'm obsessed with it. And I've probably worn it like a million times and it's so soft and it's so comfy. The next crew neck I brought is my red Nike one, which is like very, it's like a lot more lightweight than the green one. So if I want like a sweatshirt, but I'm like kind of hot at the same time, I have this really lightweight crew neck and it's honestly super thin and just really comfortable. The next category we're going to do is we're going to do bathing suits. Um, I have this cover-up from Target. It's just like a really cute, like, holy shirt. It's not like a cover-up because it has holes in it, but it's just something cute I like to wear over my bathing suit. And then I have this bathing suit from Aerie that still has the tags on it. Um, it's a size medium top and bottom. They look like this. I got them in Florida, like, a long time ago, and they're really cute. They had, like, a huge bathing suit sale, so I got a bunch of bathing suits. And then this is the matching top it's like this purpley color and i actually i think it's really cute and flattering the next bathing suit i got was this one from bells it's from bells but it says california oh wait california it says california and these are the bottoms they have cute blue hearts on them just like this and then the top is just like this and the last bathing suit i'm bringing is this little set um these are red bottoms from airy they're just like bottoms I got on sale and then I wanted a black top to go with the bottoms but I didn't have any so I went into PacSun and I got this top and it's really cute and this bathing suit has been like one of my favorites so far. Finally I'm bringing three dresses with us. Um, I'm only bringing three because one of the ones that I want to wear has to be tailored by my grandma so I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear that like this week but I'm bringing this blue and white dress from Hollister. It's really pretty and I wore it on Easter. It has all this detailing on it and it's just so cute. And it's honestly gorgeous. Like, I really like it. I'm bringing this little romper that still has the tags on it. It's from TJ Maxx. It looks like this in the front, and it ties over so it looks like a dress. But then in the back, it has shorts. So it's actually really practical, and I think it's really cute. Um, I've tried it on before, so I know it fits, but I just haven't worn it yet. So this will be my excuse to wear it and probably take pictures in it. The dress that I need tailored is this gorgeous Aritzia dress. I showed it in my last video, like one of my last videos. So I'm not going to show it now, because if you guys want to see it, you can just watch one of my other videos. But basically... Um, I need that tailored because my mom got it for me in Texas and it's just like a little bit too big but it's my size so I just need to like, like take it in like a little little bit but other than that that's all the dresses I'm bringing. So far that is all that I have packed for like the first part of this video so you guys will see everything else that I need to pack for the next part of this video tomorrow morning so I hope you guys enjoyed part one. 
So basically I didn't add anything else onto what you guys already saw in the, like, the video part before this except the only thing I did add was I added this white Lulu skirt to the mix so we're gonna bring this but other than that I didn't add anything else but socks and underwear so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be attempting to put all of this in this bag at least fit most of it in that bag. Um, on my phone, I have everything checked off, but the only thing I have left is my laptop, my camera, fun activities, so like a book and like my summer homework, and all my face wash products, but now we're not leaving until Sunday morning, so basically I can't get that until tomorrow morning. We're going to see if I can fit all of this in this bag. I'm just going to pack this off camera and then I will update you guys what it looks like after I try and fit most of it. I have one thing in here already and I don't. Think it's even fitting already so i might have to switch my bag usually i pack a suitcase but we're just gonna go with this big american eagle like literally shopping bag for my clothes because i don't care okay take two let's try and put all the clothes in this bag now okay update i fit all my clothes in this bag but i literally forgot like the most important thing i forgot bras so I don't know what I was thinking with that one, but I'm going to bring two bags. I'm going to bring this bag and put everything else in a separate bag. So I'm going to put the bras in like the other bag. But yeah, I literally forgot bras and I just don't understand how you could forget that. So this is my makeup bag. Um, this is literally everything that holds every single piece of makeup that I own. Um, I know I don't need all this makeup for my trip. But the thing is, is it's like I just want to bring it because I don't know what I'm going to be feeling each day. And since this is our house on the Cape, like it doesn't matter what I bring. So I'm just going to bring this because it's like, it's literally our house. It does not matter. Yeah, so... Something else that I need is hopefully going to fit in this bag, but I'm a little worried because I'm like spending an entire day on the beach with my friends, so I need to bring like stuff that's going to keep me like occupied in the cape, so I'm really hoping that that will keep me occupied, but I don't know. And I also want to buy like a portable charger while I'm up there because at the beach all day my phone is going to die so i'm hoping that everything's gonna fit in that bag and as of right now i think i have everything packed that i want to pack today um well i need to go to ulta i need to get my shampoo and conditioner like i need to pack my hair care i need to pack all my skincare still and just like all that type of stuff i need bras and then i need um my little fun stuff so i think that's like literally everything at the moment but I'm not sure yet. It's currently like 9 o'clock Saturday night and I'm just finishing packing like most of my stuff now. This is the last bag. It has my AP summer work in it, my hair stuff, and all my hair care. But that is pretty much it for the video. I'm sorry it was kind of chaotic, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for the Cape Cod vlog. I love you guys so much.